Near Field Communications. Literally, it means the ability to transfer information in a near field environment, meaning that, communicating. So basically take one device, hold it close to another device, and in a millisecond, information passes that way and that way, so a two-way. Think of it as um, a sort of an underlying technology, if you like. It should be invisible. You don't really have to understand it. You just have to like what it does. So um, picture a, a sort of a, a customer journey, if you like. And, and let's say this is a commuting journey that starts the day. Many of us at the moment already use a contactless card, the Oyster card. And we're used to tapping it and it allowing us through a turnstile. Well, what will happen eventually is that instead of carrying a myriad of cards around, we'll be putting things onto our smartphones. Many of the big coffee chains um, do have a, uh, they're, they're, they're already in the contactless loyalty space. They're using a, a number of different means. What's likely to happen is that those different ways will start to converge and NFC is the technology that will help them become um, sort of universal to the customer. NFC, it, it's not here in abundance. There's a few things that you can do with it right now. Um, what we're seeing is a lot of people are using bridge technologies. The humble QR code is one. And the QR code is a great bridge towards what NFC will eventually do. I think we're going to see more and more the smartphone having stored value on it. And it will be a very convenient and quick and secure way of paying. There's another, there's another feature in um, NFC payments. When you actually use a phone to pay, you actually have to use your finger to activate the NFC signal to the reader. So touch to beam is uh, a, a message you'll see on your phone encouraging you to activate your NFC chip and pay for something or receive a loyalty point or pick up a coupon. So touch to beam, again, you have that security right there. Obviously, keeping your phone safe is quite important. I think the, um, the, the phone manufacturers are quite likely to get wise to this and they'll start using um, NFC um, features within phones as a marketing tool to try and say, hey, buy my phone because through NFC we load it up with all of this. You know, it's going to be quite an interesting future. We are just about to turn a corner and then this next, you know, here we are in 2012, getting into 2013. And next year, we're going to hear the sort of the stirrings of change. Early 2014 will be the start of a meteoric change. And it'll be brought about by the availability of low-cost NFC chips. And we're going to start to see them in a number of devices. The mobile phone, the smartphone, will be the most obvious one. But they will be in a lot of other things. Obviously, there's a, there's a two-way relationship. So different types of reader accessing a stadium or a university or a library. They'll be at the point of sale at retail, in public transport, um, in parking. So we're going to start to see NFC in a big way. Around the corner, we've got some of the big names that we know, and they're big enough to where I'm just going to have to mention them. The Apples, um, the Samsungs, the uh, Nokias, uh, the Blackberries of this world, HTC. Um, everybody knows that, for instance, that the, the Apple iPhone doesn't yet have NFC, but Apple employ one of the largest NFC teams in the world, and it is likely that um, at the next major uh, launch of you know, the next phone, probably not their sort of variant next year, but it's, it, they're going to go NFC because the whole of the rest of the smartphone market is going that way. I think contactless payment in the future is going to be... Um, not limited to 20 pounds. I think we will have more choices. I think we will be able to, um, to use contactless payment for much larger items. Uh, there may well be a, um, uh, a pin element uh, introduced at some point, a security element, if you like. Um, there, there's a number of different options. Um, but I think that in terms of what it looks like for the future, I think it'll be more, more um, omnipresent I think we'll see it more often.